I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon. Dunban. You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? Dunban, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. He's right. Save your thanks for that giant bird. What was that thing? A telethia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where us Homs live. Strange. A telethia? So that's what it's called. A mystical beast that protects the Bionis. So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal-faced machine, I presume? What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley, the very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. Easy, Ryan. Shulk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. But what could be more important than... Wait, you saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up. I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower, fighting Metal Face. I heard a voice, and then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember... a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been. But I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real. I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis? It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well-traveled. <laughs> and it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands, met new cultures, and gained knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, Dumban? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies, find a place the Mekon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt? No way! We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. 
Show me a mechon and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dunban. Miserly old coot. That sword is forged from mechon armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right. But we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg, so we'll have to head around the waist. Through a place called Sartal Marsh. Follow me. I've never seen anywhere like this. You see? This is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab every now and then. We're aiming to get inside the Bionis. We can get to the upper regions from there. Wow. I've never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you want to get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on, no matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. This lamp... It has a very strange glow. It's a remnant of the High Entia. They've hidden themselves away in the upper reaches now. But at one time, they controlled this whole area. Good for them. It's the perfect place to get some shut-eye. The lamp will keep the monsters away. We'll be safe if we rest here. The breeze feels so good. It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. for what you've done! You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! Do you wish to change it? The future? Has it been that long? Dixon. Fourteen years since I found you on that mountain. Seems like yesterday. I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day, I wouldn't be here now discovering the world. Forgive me, Shulk. Sorry I couldn't save you folks. Don't be. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monado as well. This might be crazy talk, 
But maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. I don't remember much at all. But I know that my mum and dad left me it. The Monado was their final gift to me. At least, that's how I used to think of it. That's why I want to discover its true power and help defeat the Mechon. But so far, I've just been creating piles of Mechon scrap. So you don't just want to study it in a lab after all? This sword... There must be some way. Finally decided to join us, Shook. Sorry, guys. Didn't sleep a wink. Right then. Time to move on. How far now? We'll be there soon enough. The high end of your ruins are just ahead. The upper regions are through that entrance. You gotta go through Magna Forest first. Prison Island is at the Bionis Head, just above Magna Forest. It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. I must see to the survivors, and I'm also very concerned about Colony 9. I understand. Thank you for everything. I might have said a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. Forgive me. No, it's okay. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the Monado. Medic, will you stay with them? I... I want to help Shulk. The Mechon must pay for what they did. And I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. If he is, I have to find him. Find him for me too. Good luck. Sharla? I want to go with the Tharon. Are you sure? Yeah. I've never seen anything cooler than Shulk smashing Mechon with the Monado. But I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Compared to you guys, I know I'm pretty useless. But that's cool. Because I know what I can do. I'm gonna go back to the colony and help the survivors rebuild their lives. You'll do us proud, kid. Good luck, Juju. Thanks. Shulk, Ryan, keep Sharla safe for me. Dixon, are you leaving too? The Mechon may be gone from Colony 6 now, but that doesn't mean we've seen the last of them. When they launch another attack, and they will, Colony 9's gonna need my help. Yeah. I guess you're really needed at the colony. This ain't the last you'll see of me. You should be all right for now. Look after the Monado. You can bet on it. We won't let the colony down. You'll make us proud, Shulk. You, on the other hand, need to buck up your ideas. How else are you gonna protect Shulk? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Dixon. Good luck. See ya. Huh. Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. What's that you say? Oh, just mumbling. Forget I said anything. Ryan. Ready to go, Shulk? Yeah, but just hold on a minute. What is it, Shulk? It's about the Monado. I'd like to ask your permission to use it a little longer. Why ask me? The Monado was your sword, but I need it to achieve my goal. So... <laughs> <laughs> Don't sweat it. You are far more skillful at wielding that thing than I ever was. Keep it. It's yours. Besides, 
I have a new sword. That old coot had the decency to forge this for me. I owe it to him to make the most of it. Dumban, you fought your way this far. That is proof enough that Manado has accepted you. Don't take my word for it. Believe in yourself, Short. Believe in myself? Never lying down, never giving up. That's our pride and strength as Homs. And we have to make sure those metal monsters know it. You're right. Time to move, people. This prison island Shulk saw in his vision isn't getting any closer. What is this place? It's giving me the creeps. Hmm. At a guess, I'd say we're inside the Bionis. <sighs> what is it, Shulk? Oh, nothing. It's just that it feels like the Bionis isn't really dead. Huh? Wait a minute, Shulk. If the Bionis starts moving around, things won't look good for us. Let's just keep moving. Right. Face Nemesis, your frame is complete. All that remains is the soul transfer. That damage... Does a weapon exist that can melt face armor? How? Lady Venea, Master Egel wishes to see you. Understood. Tell him I will see him when this face is complete. Acknowledged. I have fulfilled my duty. You and only you can bring about a new age on Makonis. No, the entire world. My mistress, Lady Maynath. <laughs> 